I'm just, uh, st <laughs> I was just in a, sorry, st I just started the stream a little, uh, ten minutes late, uh, usually I, like, hold it off for five minutes, um, like, with the, with my, with this, uh, with the, sh like, the pause break, with the pause break, uh, screen, uh, before I start the stream, but, uh, someone, uh, yeah, there was, like, some random bot just spammed a message into the chat trying to advertise about dodgehype.com I was having none of that so I essentially uh yeah I essentially threw those so I essentially grabbed whatever words I think is would actually apply to like bots and spamming uh, put into the block section that way I hopefully won't see any more ad bots uh, in the later future streaming. But, uh, ha! <laughs> uh, well, that's, uh, well, anyways, enough of the, enough of the, the chat bot, spam bot crap. Anyways, I'm your host, Manavita, you may also call me Ma for short, and I am live streaming SD Gundam G Generation Crossroads. So, I have been, I have not been, <laughs> I don't think I've actually played the, for about a whole week. Uh, I do know, I've, I've been like getting into this for, for like every night for a while, but that, that was just me getting into gamer mode. I'm just, once you're, once you're deep into the game, there's no stopping. Or going back. Wherever the word... Wherever the meaning is. The expression. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I did deserve to have, like... Just a step back from this game for, like, a week. Because it's like... Um, I got, like, stuff... I got life stuff to do. I got work stuff to do. Um... Yeah, I think it's such, I think it's just that I think I was just getting too deep into this game to like because that I ended up making it every a subsequent night routine. So I just uh, yeah, I really did need to like I literally did need the that um, that moment to just stop, just stop from playing the game before you just go to work day and then you just uh, had to like focus more on sleep time to to get yourself rested up. So trust me, it's like you need you need more sleep if you need to gonna if you're expected to do something in the next day. It's really it's really rough, but you, it's it's the reality. You got you need more sleep to be able to do your work. But anyways, I just all I just want to get back to playing this uh, Gundam G Generation process. I've been playing the Gundam Breaker game as well. I think I've just upgraded my a couple of my mobile uh, a couple of my uh, gunpla parts in my mobile game. Um, I won't say which account I'm on, but you will have to find out yourselves. But anyways, Anyways, it's like, I think I'm just looking at all these poses. So this one, G Arcade. I don't think it's considered a gun that is. Well. Anti-ship beam rifle. Speaking of anti-ship beam rifle, didn't I get one, like, in the, mo in the mobile game for one of those 72 hour gacha rolls? I feel like I did. I don't know if it's the same one though. This one, I don't remember the one that I got being this orange. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just looking at this mobile suit I got from the DLC uh, dispatch mission, I'm trying to like clear those up. I noticed this range is kind of like just like um, uh, yeah, just like Strike Freedom's math skill. Wait, is this like? <coughs> excuse me, is this like? 
Is this a is this a bigger map range than the Strike Freedom's uh, map skill? I gotta check. No, not this one. This one. Maybe it's maybe it's bigger. I have a feeling it is. Or not. Maybe I'm just imagining it. One, two, three, four, five. That one has, this one has a bit of a longer range then. Um, this, however, is the longest range I've seen. At least I imagine so. So, let's see. I'm just gonna check all these. So, I did give... I'm thinking about rocking with this one for now, because it's like, I had the Reborn... I do have a Reborn Gundam, um... Set up for this uh, flit, old man flit, uh, to use, but yeah, I think GRK might be interesting to try out. So far, I was bit, I had some thoughts about if I need to make myself a second Wing Zero EW, but if I did that, it's probably gonna be confusing for me because between. It's gonna be confusing to me, for me, because we already have a copy of... We already have a Wing Gu Gundam Zero, who's also leveled up. But the fact that, but if there was one here, and then there was another on another ship... <clears throat> I mean, it's just gonna confuse the heck out of me when I use them on the map. <coughs> probably would not be... Probably would make things worse if they're both hero UEs were piloting EWs. Zero EWs for me. So, I think I'm just gonna check. I've been throwing some of these guys into, like, this patch for quite a while, so I'm gonna check. <coughs> so, maybe... Just throw you here. No. I'm just throw you here. So we have a celebrator. I'm gonna just make a check. I, there's a couple of things I need to enhance here. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Pump it into attack. You, however, already have enough attack points. Do I need to, like, Take a look. Let's just. I'm gonna throw these into your mobility because you're really good at that. Fusion needs to do more work, so. I'll be more attack. Kamari? Uh, Kamari? <laughs> Kamari? What? <coughs> I just having none of the ad bots in the chat. I'd rather real people actually commenting, commentating and thinking about everything that goes on in this game as I play through it. But, uh... Yeah. We... 
you prefer real human responses than people than like accounts that's actually just providing you automated responses because it's just it's just not it's just boring you know it's just boring it's just annoying it's just it's it's the the ad the ad the automated ad responses it just has no soul you know these much like uh, AI <laughs> <laughs> the AI art uh, thing that's been going on. Oh, uh, great. Right. Like, I don't really get... I don't really get it. Like... Seriously? I mean... It would be... There are, like... I feel like there's a... There's a certain line to draw when you're gonna think about the usage of um, AI, like AI for art. For one thing, for one thing, those who use the AI to make art, they aren't really creating the art. It's the AI that's doing the work. And so in essence, whatever the AI is creating, that's their work. What do you think? But then, if you, anyone's gonna use AI as a tool to get uh, to get paid for art, that's, I feel that's uh, no, just no, just definitely no, because you're actually robbing the AI of the work. You're actually taking advantage of the AI of their work because they're not they're not at the level where they can actually comprehend. The, ne the necessity of being paid and someone's just taking advantage of the AI they just it's it's like the sl it's like s you know you're just making them into art slaves these AIs and you're just la making them do the work even though you don't even have the art skills to make the work yourself and I just think that's just not right in, in some ways Now, I think if AI art is to be used as a tool by an actual, like a full artist person who's known their brushes and uh, digital art, I think. I think it's, it will depend. It would depend. I think it's like the artist would still see the AI as a tool, obviously, because a lot of people would see AI as a tool, but then they would know how much to moderate the usage of the AI for their work. Because the only way they're gonna use the AI for art is to make to make uh, things a little bit more easier to complete the job. Because you get, if you just if you're expected to draw like like a whole bunch of backgrounds and just uh, in just uh, maybe less than an hour or something, and then you had to hand it in, but you can't really actually complete that on time with the level with the level of skill and uh, the amount of content you have to draw out. So it's probably. It's just to, it's like trying to like throw in something, from something, throw in something as a base and then the artist can like build on top of it to, just to help, to help uh, complete the job on time. At least that's, uh, that's how I think the AI art, AI could be used as a tool for art without even, without diminishing the artist's, uh, uh, skill set and effort that they had to like they had to like uh, accumulate over time like spend time working on building their art skills and then working to themselves into getting uh, more I don't know more just more effort more I'm losing track. I'm actually trying. To, I should be. I should really be enhancing my mobile suits, but I instead, I I think I found myself ranting a bit about AIR. 
Uh, personally, I do draw some things, but uh, it's been tough these days. Uh, personal life stuff and work stuff. I think this machine is falling behind for now, but you know. Alright, so Strike Freedom Gundam, where are I gonna pump your points into? Yeah, more attack, please. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, Gundam Master Off is not ready yet. Full saber. What do you got? Ah. Oh. Eh. I think we're good. I haven't enhanced the massive ones yet, so maybe I should do something about that. Eh, it doesn't look like it's ready yet. something about my captain. He's like the only custom character I have here and like I'm replacing all of them with like better uh, avatar characters. Uh, unfortunately, damn, like my character's falling behind in terms of stat-wise, being stat-wise, but they were actually more fun to have. <sighs> I just think I'm just trying to do things uh, minimalizing, uh, min-max or something, I don't know. I don't think that's the right way to... I don't think that's the right expression I'm having here. Hmm. Yeah, I really do need better command stats here, so... Trace? The Trace has definitely, uh... So, uh, let's check my character here. So he has a huge, he should have like a huge command in him. Stats, so let's read. So Trace could actually beat him in terms of the, could beat my captain in terms of the uh, command stat. Even without the uh, the whole passive thing, so I'm gonna put Trace up here. Sure, why not? Let's put the guy who's uh, being the antagonist of BW. I mean, the antagonist of Gundam Wing. That's our captain here. Yeah, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty insane indeed. Better captain here, though. I'm just gonna check. So, Man. Yeah, let's just put you command first. 
obviously, Ging, Ying and him would be the one who has that kind of... <laughs> Do I really want to put this guy in as captain? That's, uh, that's crazy. I don't want to... I don't want to see that happening. X-Rounder. Damage dealt to in one-on-one -on -one combat. Why would this... One on one combat inside a ship, that's a new that's new. Alright. Uh Yeah, it looks like Trace would win and would win the contest for best captain hands down. Well, I have no better better captain. Also I did notice that he has a... I do notice Flit has a little bit of a command stat, but that's only because he's level 21. We haven't seen Trey's at level 21, but what he's capable of, so why not? Uh, let's train him. I'm gonna give him some skills so he can do some... Some interesting things. So, let's see. We're gonna give him... Maybe we'll give him command. Yeah, I'll give him command. Wait, what, is, what am I looking for? Space pirate. Sure, we'll make trays of freaking space pirate. Why not? Why not? Plus 50 uh, to attack and mobility. That's actually pretty crazy to think if you're thinking about the stat uh, spread. Hmm. War dog. Weapon scroll when morale is high or above. I was thinking about why I'm being doing those dispatch missions, but for the war god or something. Or Fighting it. But apparently that's the thing. Fighting instinct is so it's auto plus ten, eh? Hmm, sounds interesting. Super pilot. I forgot. How do I? How do I farm for super pilot again? Hmm. One of those dispatch missions that uh, has it. Leader number three. Well, we only have the one uh, leadership leader uh, skill, so why not? Control max area two, eh? Okay. Control. How many controls do we have? We have four for level ones. We have like level two at level two control is at what? With level two control. It would be really nice if you can actually if there's a way to sort these ones out. Oh, is there? Oh, this one's... No, this one's Ascend. Uh, Alright. Control level 2. Okay, so there's one level 2 control. And it's just only one. Well, I'm not ready to, like, spend the uh, higher ones just yet, so we're gonna give Trace, uh... I think it was a... was there a skill that... was there like leadership skill or something? Uh, I think for the... I think it has to do with... I think it has to do with the final ship. Yeah, this one. <sighs> Only activates our units and like... 
Does this not work on the captains? I'm, I'm just gonna check on the Steam Guide or the community. Uh, that's the achievements discussions. All right. Just give me what we got. Uh, sure, early is taking a long time. Can I just refresh it? Am I not able to open the discussion? I'm just gonna go direct. I'm just gonna do this directly on my uh, on my Steam client. Okay, seriously. You gotta be joking me. Hey, something's up. I'm just gonna do this directly on my browser then. For some reason, Steam is not. For some reason, the Steam browser and the client itself is not letting me jump onto places. So, SD Gundam Cross Rays Captain Leadership. Worship ability. <sighs> wow, Internet is a bit slow today. Am I connected to which modem am I connected to? I'm connected to one that's the long range, but the slightly slow one. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, let's see. Alright, so I think some one person says about leadership working on captains or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Does it count? I don't even know if a warship is a warship even counted as a unit. So I'm just gonna buy the skills first. I'll buy the skills first for trace. skills so hmm B2 uh, might save sway
Yeah, I was just wondering why the, the stat bonuses are not on the ship, but that's only because of the modifications. Good job. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna assume that the units are... I'm gonna assume Warship works as units. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna just give Trey's a skill. Well, could I have just made someone else as captain, to be fair? I mean, Trey's is a, Trey's is a brilliant guy, but should I make someone else captain? Patrick Colosaur as captain. I don't know about making him captain. I mean, it's one thing if he's actually... I think it's one thing if he's captain. But his stats doesn't really make it to captain... To one of the proper captain levels. Okay, let's just... I'm just gonna give Trace the skill set. So, let's go with... Ability... Leadership, leadership, where is leadership? Trace is a true leader now. How does he compare to uh, my old captain? surpasses the captain and everything except the awakening. By the time he hits the level 30s, it will be super captain. Alright, so we gotta do... I'm gonna do some things there too for trades as well. Wait a minute. Attack and mobility. Is that for mobile suits? Is that what a, is that a wow a war god can do? No, war god's just uh, war god's just for crits. So super pilot would have to be, would have to be here, which means this guy is actually giving a power boost to yeah. Insane. He's giving power boost to his uh to Maris. Alright, so maybe I could give that to Mikazuki in that case. Because he maybe maybe he needs that uh super pilot. Wait a minute, I gave him the super pilot skill? Really? Oh no, it was not Super Pilot Skill. I think it was Space Pirate. Hmm. But then Mikazuki would lose the 90... the 90 melee damage. I don't think he's ready for that. Oh well. Uh... I think we did all we could. It's been enough... 
I said like, holy crap, I spent 40 minutes thinking about what to do with the upgrades. Well, Trace is... Well, Trace is captain now. Regiment. Yeah, Trace would be like, look at me, look at me, I'm the captain now. Uh, what I'm thinking... I think I just... I kept thinking what I should do about the other stages that's not really main story stages, more like spin-offs. We're, go we're going by timeline, in all fairness, so I'm thinking... Let's go do... I'm gonna do the Astray uh, spin-offs. I want to do... I probably want to do like Double O and Triss continue onwards or something, but then I want to like clear the spin-offs as best as possible. And also they're kind of like early stages, right? So I'm, I'm sure I'll be... I'm sure I'll be able to match with my build. We're gonna... Ta I'll tackle the movie ones later because I have a feeling they're gonna be a bit more challenging and probably require a lot more... Uh, uh, turns to like move turns and units to maneuver around. So let's see what's the story for your trade. All right, a trade. Those who have gone their own way. This is another story that plays out behind the scenes of the great war between the naturals and coordinators in the year seventy of the cosmic era. The protagonists are the young man, Lo Yul, who collects and repairs junk for the junk guild, and the mercenary Guy Murakumo, who lives in the shadow of war. The two of them obtain new mobile suits from the mining asteroid Heliopolis, which was destroyed by the Zaf forces. And the story begins here. So I haven't really played the... the I, haven't, I haven't really read the Astray manga to be fair. I don't really know much about the story. I only know that it had. Um, the one thing I did know is that it had probably happened roughly the same, roughly around the same uh, time as uh, Gundam Seed event started. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go run through all of these. Oh sure. So red and blue, right? We're gonna fight in space. So marksmanship, strategist. This shouldn't be too hard, right? Cosmic Era 70. Oh, new narrator. Chino Valentine's hitting was the cause of the Earth Rebellion and the Zafto Rebellion was completely in a collapse state. The Earth Rebellion was created. I'm just putting it on. But I just want to say that sticker, that sticker. I saw that sticker in the Gundam Breaker uh, mobile. I was just wondering, what, who, which series did they, was this sticker come from? Because it looked kind of like a, it had a really interesting design. I didn't think it was actually from this series. <laughs> wow. Anyways. Watashi, Yamabuki Kisato wa Liam to Professor. So shite Ro to issho ni sora de junk ya toshite hataraite ru nda. Say what now? The narrator is related to uh, the pro main protag. Okay. So shite, ima no senso ga hajimatte kara ichi nen chikaku tatta koro. That he war that wow really? A year after the war broke out. Oh wait, no, that's 
That's uh, starting with the whole uh, bloody Valentine. ヘリオポリスが崩壊したってニュースが飛び込んできたの。早速ローが一番乗りだって言い出してヘリオポリスへ急行することになったんだけど。そう、あ、ちょっとライクジュノアシタ。人生で最高の瞬間と最低の瞬間を一遍に味わうことになっちまったんだ。There were like some other mobile suits in Heliopolis besides the Gundams that were uh, stolen. And one was actually taken by uh, Kira. Resource colony Heliopolis. Several hours after the destruction of the colony. So that was. Was that like almost a day after it was blown to hell? What's our what's our entry route? Oh, I'm just gonna I'm going with the flow with the voices. Straight ahead to AC R free. Okay, the route is clear. Woohoo! Looks like we're the first ones here. There's something spooky about this place, huh? Oh wow, that's the narrator. There's nothing to well, there's nothing to fear, Yabu Yamabuki. Are you sure it's okay for us to be here? The Earth Alliance and Zap forces just got done duking it out here, right? We've confirmed that they've pulled out. No one's here but us. To junk guild members like us. This colony is a treasure trove just waiting to be plundered. Liam's got that right. We don't have time to stand around wagging our jaws. We don't move it? Someone else will score instead of us. If you want to take off, you're on your own. Hey, I'm a member of this team too, you know. But what do we do if the mid what would what do we do if the military comes back? Well we run for it. Duh! Besides, it will help us out if we end up in the scrap. Of course, I I don't even know. I don't know what kind of voice I have to go with this. Of course, I have to be a professional. Of course, I have to be a combat professional. My data includes records of humanity's entire history of warfare. The first thing to be aware of when engaging in combat is. Yeah, yeah, save it for when the fighting actually starts. Hello? Do you copy? Yep. Yeah. What's up, Professor? Based on the fundamental structure of that colony, the, fact the factory district should be nearby. Copy that. I'm looking forward to all the lovely gifts you will bring back. So don't. So try not to disappoint me. We well, got it. I won't let you down. Alright. I say we head on inside. You follow me, Yabuki. Yamabuki. No shivering now. It's time for an old school treasure hunt. Um, okay. This is like what, mobile workers? And we actually got some art of scrap. I can't do crap with this part either. I already found three of those new acceleration chips. Forget that garbage. Toss it. Why would I do that? We're not working for some easily impressed brat. 
Find something bigger and better! Bruh. I don't know about you, but... I don't know about you, but, uh... Have you ever heard of nanotechnologies these days? They're the most expensive shit they're developing right now. Those micro USBs are no joke. And even they are not even... Even they are, like, on the low end scale of uh, comparison to what nanotech is supposed to be. I assume. <laughs> but anyways, forget you! I'm gonna sell these chips, buy myself a dress, and dine at a fine restaurant! Yeah, good luck with, uh, selling, uh, USB chips. For, like, I don't know, $50 each, probably. Depending on how much... How much the capacity of each of those chips have. And no food for you, Lo. Huh. <laughs> Do what you want. I just know there's something bitter around here. My gut never fails me. Lo, it looks like this building was destroyed from the inside. I'm picking up some residual en energy. From the inside, huh? Something snuffed. I agree. The air's no good here. Let's just head back. Don't be dumb! I was talking about the sweet smell of treasure! Oh. Look at that! Oh wow, that's a that's an astray arm. And it's gold? Huh? Now we're talking! We found out the gobo oh sorry. We found us a golden mobu suit arm! Unbelievable! Orb isn't supposed to have any mobu suits. I've never seen anything like it. And it's brand sparkling new! There's no way something like that would be lying around a neutral colony. Yet it's right here in front of us. This place must have a s this place must have been a secret base. A secret, huh? You think they destroyed the place to cover up evidence? Um, guys, this is bad. Bad? You mean lucky? When there's an arm, there's bound to be a body. If we don't find it, we'll be sorry. Let's head farther in. This is dangerous, Lo. Huh? We're, uh, we're just fine. We're gonna find the biggest treasure ever. Whoa! Lo! Oh, he fell into that one. Man, that sucked. Lo, you all right? I guess so. It's so dark, I can't see a damn thing, though. We're coming in after you. Got it. <laughs> Liam? What? Is something wrong? <laughs> Lo! What's going on? Score. That's what. I found out treasure! What? Liam! Yamabuki! Get in here pronto! <laughs> Huh. Interesting. Are those what I think they are? Awesome! A blue one and a red one! Well, didn't I tell you? I can't believe it. Brand new, fully assembled mobile suits buried like this? Seriously? And now we found them. There's only one thing to do. Pack him up and bring him home! Yo, hey! Do a system check and make it snappy. Okay. I'm starting to check now. These things are fully operational. Hell yeah! Sweet! This thing's even got a beam rifle! Watch it, Lo! There's a mobile armor heading your way! Mobile armor, huh? You mean like a business competitor? No! 
It's a fully armed mercenary. A mercenary? Why the hell would someone like that be here? Wait a minute. Could they be after these mobile suits? Sorry, but you don't stand a snowball's chance if you fight them. Oh no! We're all going to be killed! There's no way I'll let that happen. Lo, don't tell me. You bet I am. I'm fighting in a chimera is a recipe for disaster, right? And these mobile suits are another story. Hey, time to activate the blue one. Roger. I'll start preparing the activation sequence. Wait, but isn't the usual approach to run for it when a powerful enemy shows up? I'm thinking they're after these mobile suits. We can't just bail. You naturals have an interesting way of thinking. Wait a minute. What it? Wait a minute. So the way he's got, I hear, the way he's saying it. So Liam's a coordinator. I would have guessed that. Interesting. You two get in the. You two get the other suit out of the. I mean, you two get the other suit out of here. So wow. So a natural and coordinator are working together in the group. At least they're past. At least, at least to pass any all that all all that bias, it got working uh, working in harmony together. Roger that. Be careful, Lo. No, I'll be fine. I won't even let them put a dent in our new treasure. Hey, you ready yet? I sure have. Now starting the activation sequence. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna need to drink the water, please. Where is it? Oh, there's my cup. I was just wondering. That ship looks familiar for some reason. Is that at the same ship that I saw in like the shop? That I could actually like order the one of the starter ships? Just so you know, my I told my friends inside about you. That's just fine. Well, why'd you let me do it? We're mercenaries. Combat is our business. Normal people won't try to resist once they realize there's an overwhelming difference in strength. Sure, normal people. This thing is insane! The chimera's got nothing on it! Of course. Anyway, Eight, where's our enemy? Can you see them? Oh, it's a mobile armor. There it is. Enemy sighted. Over there. You must mean that mobile armor. Okay, let's go for first blood! So what's the challenge? Can Lo destroy the enemy unit with a beam rifle? Uh, that wouldn't be too... That's not so hard. Also, I'm gonna need to check these targeted quests here. So what do we got? Junkyard Guild. Anything. Third stage after... Have we arranged these ones? Oh wow, so there's actually no, uh, there's really no, um, stage, stage reward, partic particularly for the stage I'm on. 
Oh, it's just only these quests I have to complete. Professor Liam Edges, I could just I could retrieve these two. Well. Can I shoot him from this far ahead? I could use Fiend Saber or this thing, but that's way too far. Alright, Junk Guild Spirit, eh? Ow. Oh wow. <laughs> he has a he has a fortune for getting hit. That's interesting. Alright. And a live pass to turn in. Yeah, come at me, bro. Ow! So I was under the impression this guy, wasn't this guy like the... I let up the red one. It's interesting that he chose the blue frame first. That's it for them! Uh oh! How the heck are they still moving? Ah, oh, shit. Oh! That was him? That was a, that glasses dude was him? Oh! Murakumo, eh? You're not bad. I'll give you that. What the hell are you here for? To destroy these Momo suits. What? Our mission is to destroy these Momo suits and eliminate anyone who has seen them. You're talking about my Momo suits! I swear by the Junk Guild that I won't hand them over to some punk who wants to scrap them! That'd be such a waste! I see. Interesting theory you have there. Unfortunately, you're not equipped to do anything about this situation. Oh yeah? You must not get that I have the devil's luck. I have the devil's own luck. I mean, check out the treasures I found today. Luck isn't enough to survive on the battlefield. This is the end for you. <sighs> Guy! We're in trouble here! Elijah! What the hell is happening? Ugh! That damn client suddenly attacking us! <coughs> oh. I can't hold up for long! Get back here! <sighs> well, looks like your employer has decided you've seen too much as well, huh? Hello! 
You okay? The home is apparently in a bad situation. I'll be borrowing this suit. Okay. But you better expect to pay off if you damage it. Sure. Hello. Our suit! Yeah, I went ahead and loaned it to him. More importantly, Liam, can you get that red suit moving? Oh, this is called interesting. Ugh! Damn it! Hey, aren't you supposed to be a mercenary? Can't you fight with a little more focus? I told you- I told you I'll pay you- I told you I'll pay if you get me out of this! That's exactly what I'm trying to do! <sighs> You've got the looks, but no substance at all. <sighs> Damn this woman! She's nothing like Loretta! Ah! More of them! There's Marcomo. Sorry I'm late. Guy! Where'd you get that mobile suit? I'll explain later. We need to deal with them first. Never forgive traitors! Never forgive them! Ah, we got Sorty 8. So, if I pick... Alright, so if it was... So I can only Sorty, like, more units. Uh... Sure! Bear, 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 bear. What's this theme song? Oh, well, that's the trades music. <laughs> I have no better captains, to be fair. Destroy at least eight enemy units. Can Guy Murakuma at least de destroy... Well, you're asking the impossible here, but okay. What I'm saying, I can make the possible, I can make the possible, possible, impossible, possible. I don't know. Well, I'm blasting. See how far Chase can actually get. <laughs> the fact that he's actually piloting the, the the Dominion, which is actually the rival ship of the Archangel, is gonna Feel like it would fit him because it's pretty uh it's pretty much an antagonistic ship. Definitely does fit him. In that case. Sorry. Uh, we'll sorry you. I'm just gonna go over here. Um, let's see the maximum damage. Maximum damage.
Fine. I get... Okay, fine. It seems like I can't really do anything. <laughs> I wasted all that time for nothing. Might as well shoot you again. おとなしく始末されるんだな。I can take them both now with actually the right wing. Oh, 
Lines and are that characterizes that they're not affiliated with that Zaft or the lot or the Federation. Lines? There are lines in the sea, right? BS is this? <laughs> Guy Gingham, I mean Gim Gingham, get him. Hello. 
地球へ行かれてお強くなったと見たとなればこの戦いをは分かってくださる Who's Lady Diana, anyways? I have got to watch Turn A Gun Day. Uh, sure, why not? It's just level one. So, destroy at least two units. We destroyed enough units, so we're gonna let things uh, stay as it is. Norsel sorting out you. Yeah, fire the death charge. Just got two uh, mobile suits out, so we'll pass the turn here. We'll see if they attack the ship first instead of the mobile suits. Yeah, evade! Get a counter attack here. Can I? No, I cannot. Well, gonna evade that. Your boy is gonna <laughs> defend. Your boy Elijah's gonna defend. Well, we did it. 
We scored. All right. All, I, all we have to do is keep this up. But still, this mobile suit is something else. Wow, those kids really came through. That mobile suit is the treasure they mentioned. They really did score big. But this seems like it might be a bit more than just some random find. Guy! More hostiles incoming! Back off, Elijah! I'll take care of the rest of them! Okay, guy. Thanks! They've definitely got the numbers. <laughs> With a facial expression like that, kind of help me laugh. What the? You activated that thing? Yep. Can't let my treasure get any more dinged up. Let's finish this quick. Right. There, there, there. Uh, we're really picking fight with mobile armors. Oh shoot. What am I supposed to do here? It's gonna go over here. Transforming more Gundams here because they're not really transformers, but they actually can transform to like increase their speed. Uh, can you actually come up here? How far can you fire? Right there. Excellent. Check the quest again. I don't have to do anything specific with the guest characters, do I?
here. Yeah, I still wouldn't hit any of them anyways. Surprised if uh, McGillis can actually destroy that mobile armor. But we'll, we'll let him do his, his shot damage here. Well, McGillis keeps surprising me at every turn. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna attack here. Warship damage does count for captains. Good to know. Oh, 
遥かなる星々のきらめきの彼方多様なる運命はすれ違いを続けるWait, this one has a skill? What can I get? Melee combat.
Why does Zex kill count anyway? 120. What about Graham Akers? Akers, uh, 48. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, thank you for the level ups. Nah, we'll save the points. Devil's own luck, right here. <laughs> but I guess this means they're after you, just like they're after us. Looks like it. You know about the blue mobile suit I loaned you. You can keep it. You sure? Well, you did end up protecting the ship in the end. Man always has to pay his debts. My departed grandpa said that all the time. Then I guess I'll go ahead and take it. Guy, it's about time for us to meet up to meet back up with Reed and the others. Right. Let's go. Later! Though I have a feeling our paths will cross the game. Sure. And we might be enemies when they do. We'll worry about that when it happens. <laughs> uh oh. With that remark, you're really <laughs> setting up the flags! Da 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 I was like, only these two guys have their equal kills, and this guy should escape in first. But at least Mikazuki did it with style! We got Liam, we got Kisato Yamabuki. Auto repair device, hey. I think we already got DLC items for that too. I actually want to check out the characters first, so are they worth hiring? So Liam's a coordinator, huh? Junkyo Coordinator. Wait, E and Consumption minus 10% for all weapons. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Would it be a spoiler if I just look it up? A member of Low Ghoul's uh, Junk Guild. Though a genetically modified coordinator, he is the twin he is the twin to a natural brother. Really? So similar like how Kira's just like uh, I don't know. Wait, actually Kira does have uh, Wait, Kira's biological 
quote unquote biological parents on Earth isn't really his biological parents at all, apparently. But I don't know. Perhaps due to his birth, he is, makes a habit of observing natural behavior, especially especially lows. To calm in the storm of quirks, he prefers to maintain he prefers to maintain a low profile with the whys and wherefores of what he does, like fighting in a maintenance gin when his friends are in trouble, known only to himself. Professor. Uh, she's low on the command stats, though. But the maintenance stat. Interesting. Remember Lowe's Low Ghoul's uh, Junk Guild? Uh, enigma even among Lowe's cadre of the centuries. Both her name and her past are shrouded in mystery. Rare beauty appeared with a superior brain. Her train of thought is one that uh, few can follow. She and Morgan Rode, Incorporated Engineer Erica Simmons are said to be old friends. Wow! She's friends with that engineer on Earth? They're acquainted? Like, oh wait, they're friends? Wow! I would never have thought about that. Kasato Yamabuki, eh? Member of Logul's Junkyard, a pessimistic and timid young woman who finds herself at the mercy of Lowe's recklessness. Well. Oh, okay, so she's not really uh, that confident, huh? Uh, that's unfortunate. But her personality is also the reason she stays by his side without ever revealing her true feelings for him. Though her true colors have shown themselves in the presence of rivals and through numerous it's <laughs> the love bro the love rivalry among love rivals. <laughs> the diehard fan of first coordinator a diehard fan of first coordinator George Clint. She enjoys collecting his various memorabilia. So she's a natural, who's actually a huge fan of the first coordinator, George Glenn, who actually started the whole, uh, coordinator, uh, colonies. She, so she's a pro, she's pro-coordinator supporter. She supports the coordinators. Mark that down in, she, let's mark that down in, uh, our list of people we like, folks. Showdown, Australia versus Australia. What is going on now? Don't tell me the red and blue is sky starting a fight right now. Oh, it's a red and blue team. Red and blue! Not the red and blue! Alright, we'll do another stage. I guess we gotta fight against Guy, huh? That's a screenshot. Hey, Mr. Professor, I think we need to go to the Mobile Suit Company. Hey, Mr. Professor, I think we need to go to the Mobile Suit Company. Hey, Mr. Professor, I think Part of, the, part of its frame is missing, so that's, but it's able to move much, much better. Well, less armor means more flexibility, I guess. Interesting. This personal mobile suit, eh? So no heliopolis no jiken kara ishuka. Kondoa, Chikugun no chuyo sai artemis of a kanakusta de johoga, but as that's no tokoro ni nagare de kita. Ah, rep. Was was that the was that the wait was that the fortress that uh, Kira was kid? 
Kira was there, and uh, along with the Archangel crew, and they got held up by some pompous bastard who's trying like who's all like confident that their defenses is like prime, but then the the Raider Gundam just just actually was it Raider Gundam or I don't know. It was the one played by the piano kid. Just snuck in and then blew up this, blew up the security. Heliopolis no toki mo so datta shi. Ima wa doko de senso ga atte mo fushigi jana nai nda kedo. Konkai no jowho ni wa gizutsu ya ni totte chumoku su beki basho ga atta no. Oh yeah, that was it. Kouha bougyo tai, tsuusho Artemis no kasa. その要塞は基地全体を覆う絶対防壁を持っていたんだ地球連合加盟国ユーラシア連邦が開発したこの傘は物理攻撃やビームはもちろんレーダーだって遮っちゃう優れものってわけだからこそアルテミスは難攻不落の要塞だって知られてたんだけどそんな要塞がどうやって落とされたのかロウが黙ってるはずないのよねそして、予想してた通りに、私たちの船ホームの次の目的地はアルテミス。We're really tracing the steps of Kira's journey through Gundam Seed。でもまさか、あの人たちとこんなに早く再会するなんて、この時は考えてもいなかったな。Man, I can't believe the Artemis went down. It was surprisingly weak, huh? Well, it was totally defenseless without its umbrella. The fortress's selling point was really its lightweight barrier. And I bet there are all kinds of pirates showing up right about now. I mean, the crew of the Artemis pretended they ruled the sector, and they did whatever they wanted. Yeah. They even made anyone who came through pay a toll. Everyone with a grudge against them has probably come back for revenge by now and picked everything clean. I doubt the Zaf forces would have let the Artemis go either. They failed to sink that fortress a couple of times, so it wouldn't surprise me if they attacked again. That's not exactly what's going on here. Huh? The pirates showed up right, alright. But most of them have been seen off. But that doesn't make sense. The Artemis shouldn't be that strong at this point. Ah, uh, I've heard enough. We need to stay away. I'm telling you. Nope. I suddenly have the urge to go check it out. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Don't you want to know how they're fighting without the umbrella? Well, I can't deny I'm a little curious. Oh, sounds like a plan then. Ah, uh, I just knew it. I'll set the home's course for the Artemis. Right, this should be a hoot. So, we're taking the path to the Artemis. It just blipped out like that? Really? No rocket through space? Daikets. Astray tai astray. Man, blip technology. It lets you fast travel to anywhere in space. Space Fortress Artemis Sector. But that Artemis Sector is definitely defenseless. What the hell is going on with these ships? What's with these ships? What's this? So many ships! Whoa. Every one of them was stopped with a single shot. 
and only their engines have been destroyed. Incoming aircraft detected. What? You think it's whoever gunned down these guys? Oh! Low ghoul! Blue frame! Guy! That mercenary from before? Didn't think we'd see each other again so soon! And based on your gear, you didn't come to welcome us, am I right? That depends on you, junk dealer. What happened to your buddy? Elijah's picking up supplies in the Artemis. Okay... So what are you gonna do? My job. Your job? Consider this your final warning. Leave this sector at once. I'll take any refusal as a hostile act in attack. Okay, so you've gone down these ships, which means the Artemis is your client now, right? Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. Uh -huh. See, I want to do my job too. Someone has to repair all these ships you busted up. I can't just leave them all adrift. Don't be dumb, Low! You don't st you don't have a chance against a mercenary. She's right. On top of that, this guy's a coordinator. But he's not actually killing the pirates, is he? No. All he's done is immobilize them. He's probably going for intimidation. How so? If he leaves them alive, information spreads and people will think the Artemis still has plenty of fight left. Once that happens, no one will risk coming here anymore. Well, some guys are dumb enough to get involved even if they know that. Well, that's what's so fascinating about naturals. Or rather low. Wait, we're picking up movement from the Artemis! Huh? Those are missiles! Whoa, destroyed the ship. Bruh! The missiles! Holy fuck. Are you serious? Damn it! What the hell are they doing? Gosha! What is the meaning of this? Oh, he's still alive? What the hell? I thought he blew up. Did I not remember him getting... Bl Did I not remember him getting tangled up in an explosion? In the anime? I have got to look back on this one. Or, I'm not... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Give me a second. I, I, I'm gonna wiki this one. I thought he died. Did he not die in the anime? I don't know. For some reason, I tried googling Gerard Garcia. I expected the anime character. Instead, I got some kind of male actor model from Thai. Is this some Thai male actor model who's also like dre dresses like a gym guy, <laughs> like like boxer guy? What the? Why am I even watching? Okay, bubble seed. Wait, he's a lot. What the fuck? So during the uh, after the battle, he was assigned to his fortress. Garcia's plan interrupted. Uh, yeah. Gotcha was seemingly killed when a wrecked TSMA-2 Mobius crashed into his ship. However, Gotcha somehow survived, albeit with some injuries. 
Sometime later, he hired mercenary guy Murakumo to protect his fortress before attempting to take him and la the ashtray for his own uses. Okay, that well, that's a bit of spoiler territory there, but wow, this guy actually survived. Holy fuck! This mong- this- the monger somehow magically makes this guy survive as much as Kurayama though. Survive any deadly blows in all anime episodes. What the hell? No, oh, I'm simply eliminating future threats to us. If I leave them alive, who knows when they'll decide to attack us again. I suppose you called it. I call it an insurance policy of sorts. I'm the only one authorized to engage in hostile. I'm, I'm the only one of authorized to engage in hostilities here. If you violate our contract, I'll consider it void. Fine, consider it void then. But that doesn't mean you're done working for us. You remember your friend, right? I'm sorry, guy. You caught me off guard. Elijah! Now that we're on the same page, it's time for your first job. Go right ahead and capture that mobile suit in front of you, okay? You see, we recently failed to acquire a similar mobile suit. And we'd still just love to have one. Well, what are you waiting for? You realize you don't have any other choice, right? Wait, are you seriously gonna fight me, guy? I have to. Damn it! Seriously? Is fighting really only our play here? Damn it. Is fighting really only our play here, guy? Sorry, team. Wait, are these guest ships? Are these guest ships on our side? I, li I like to hope they're on our side. Alright, let's go. Defeat Guy Murakumo. Can low defeat Guy Murakumo? Well, we gotta have to weaken him somehow. Oh god, are you serious? We. Wait, we got Gaman? We got him in. No? Really? That's the shit. Nelson. Nelson. Wow, these ships have names. Can we not at least have these in our ship roster that we could actually buy them off? If I attack these ships, can I attack these ships? No, they're guests. <laughs> I'm, I'm double checking. These co these colors mean that they're guest ships, but who knows? Is 
it's interesting that there are a mix of zaps and the federation ships and other sh different kinds of ships and yet they have nothing to do with being uh they're not really affiliated with uh size here they're actually just put there as pirate ships for some reason but maybe the pirates stole some of the federation ships for their own but that's a very low chance of them getting one of those things Well, Mikazuki, can you destroy any of these? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray that you can. Mikazuki cleared out the free missiles. That's all good. I'm gonna build his uh, energy points up. He has more capacity. Can he go inside? Can Lo? Wait, can uh? Low, not go inside the ship. You cannot. Oh, uh, that's fine. made a big mistake putting these ships out here first. I mean, putting my mobile armor here out here first, but I'm just ripping. That's fast. Uh, these ships are just pausing, eh? Thank you for that. I got no, absolutely no room to go through here. Oh my god! these missiles take care of the explosion here. Might be, might help me get it through. Here. 
I just need to move them out of the way. Somehow. Is there a quest here that I could have completed? Let me check that. Um, not really. Wow, uh, I thought a stray would have more quests, but this is kind of disappointing in its own way.
as well kill him, would it? I am only gonna fight with the uh, ranged weapon, so I'm just gonna make sure. Let's save the game! I'm gonna make sure we'll save the game first. Missiles, eh? Alright, so those two ships are down. No, I mean, this ship's down. And then the next ship will be out as well. And that way, we can get our ships to move past freely. Good. Man, the size of a ship makes a difference for any, everything here. Yeah, we're invading that. Time. You're still getting real hit there! Expand all missiles? What were you planning to do with all these missiles? We really do have the devil's own luck. Let's see if it holds up. I can't afford to lose my friends. I won't hold anything back. Damn it! You still want to fight? Hey! Tell me how I can turn the tables on this guy! Good. Wow, <laughs> AI is just not paid enough to say anything. <laughs> Were anything useful? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you're really a machine. What do we do? Lo is fighting that guy, and he's definitely a mercenary. He clearly knows his way around the fight. Natural like Lo doesn't have what it takes to beat a, that mercenary. This is no time for cool headed analysis! Isn't there something we can do? He's gonna get killed! We see that, but. Let's deal with it when it comes. Huh? 
He's always talking about how he has the devil's own luck, right? He's not like other naturals. He's just the kind of doofus who can keep up with a coordinator. Let's trust him and see how this plays out. So it's kind of like Moolah Flaga. <laughs> he has his own devil's luck, that Moolah Flaga. Is that seriously all we can do? We actually have bigger problems to worry about. Like what? Just about the worst thing that could happen. The Zaf forces are on their way here. I wonder what we should do. Huh? Oh shit. Oh shit. What? Where's that attack coming from? Ah, shit, here comes the Zap Brigade. Destroy all enemy units. I'm really doing this. Hey, no missiles! Thank you! Vicky, Vicky, you're gonna have to get back here. Fire! 
dude, dude, dude. All right. Now we get. Yeah, let's see Afro in action here. Oh, he learns damage control. Interesting. <laughs> fighting his own. Fighting his own army, eh? Uh, that. Uh, I Oh, he actually killed that one. The melee damage is real here. It's actually weird seeing it. It's actually weird seeing uh, Zex as a guest there without his mask on.
くまでなのか this you got this Lord From here, yeah, you can. Like, 
Oh my gosh. Ghoul as in Ghoul the junk guy, not Ghoul from uh, Ghoul as in Ghoul of the Lanza from uh, Witch of Mercury. Let's uh, pass the turn. farm for some mobile seats to sell on to sell on some black market or shit with the in this game how however they dispose of the mobile suits we'll never know to capture these three mobile suits. Yeah. 
character I had like was screaming out what the hell that was her that was no, wait that that line came from this guy wow I didn't think that was him I didn't think that was this line I don't really watch turn egg Gundam I don't know how, now I really need to find out how to find how to watch Gun turn egg Gundam Attack this guy. Sorry. strike.
I think that was the last of them. Talk about a close one. I saw my life flash before my eyes. It doesn't look like the Zap Forces are in pursuit. Ah, that was terrifying. I can't believe the Zap Forces butted in. I'm afraid this isn't over yet. to survive. You should never have faced me. You should have gone after the one making me fight. Dude! It's a little late for game winning advice now! Here's the suit you requested. Excellent work! <laughs> it's finally mine! The Alliance's latest mobile suit model. How do you like me now, Zaf scum? Ready, Elijah? Absolutely, guy. Later. You said it yourself, right? I need to think about who to target. <laughs> yeah, we're wrecking shit. What do you think you're doing? Freeze, Gashia. Gah! Oh, crap! Please! Please don't kill me! That depends on if you try anything funny. Guy, everything's contained here. Lo gave me the opening I needed. Roger that, Elijah. Sorry to drag you into that. No, of the junk guild. Looks like I owe you a game. Yeah, man. That really sucked. But did you get a load of my big reversal at the end? Might just be a genius. <laughs> wow. You're so amazing, Lo. I don't think he realizes that the mercenary held him back. That mercenary led him right where he wanted him. That's the funny thing about Lo. Alright! I say we go find ourselves a treasure loaded battlefield. Huh. You really are something, you know that. That was great. Well, he screwed. That, uh. The commander screwed that to be in fact. That's what I meant. Not low, just the commander of the Artemis. But yeah. Alright. Well, wrapped up that stage quite nicely. Uh I don't know if I want to do like another stage. It's already late for me. Uh, I could just... But I'm just happy that I am able to get two done in one night. That's the, that's the only thing that matters. So anyways, I'm done uh, playing this game for... I'm done, I'm done playing this game for tonight. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next live stream for more SD Gundam G Generation crossers. So, thanks for watching and see ya!